If you like this video, remember to subscribe and like. Today, Guitar Collector Guy presents Replacing the Bridge on a Telecaster. I recently picked up a um, pretty much brand new American Original Custom Tele. I really like this model. I didn't like the three non-brass saddles. Um, so, but I did remember that I had seen variations of this same exact guitar that had a six saddle version. And so I decided to see if I could find the Fender factory OEM part. I knew that it would fit and the guitar would maintain its historical value. And I'd also save the original. Um, so if I were to ever sell or trade the guitar, I'd have um, its original configuration plus the new. Um, I found on Reverb, there were multiple companies that offered this uh, as a product. And I went ahead and um, selected one that had a good price, well within my budget, and um, went ahead and ordered the part. Um, I love Telecasters. The one thing, though, periodically that I don't like on a Telecaster is having to set intonation where you have two strings balanced on a single barrel saddle. And the cool thing with this is I'll be able to set intonation at a string level. The day came when the part showed up, um, set up my bench, got ready for the project, everything that I needed, just kind of admiring the overall beauty of this guitar. I really love the mocha finish. I really like the layout, very similar to a Les Paul, but it still retains the original um, Tele Bridge pickup. Just overall a beautiful guitar. First step in the project was I removed the, um, or at least loosened um, the six strings using um, a string winder. So then when I cut the strings and removed them from the guitar, that um, uh, they wouldn't fly up and hit me in the face and wouldn't have a dramatic kind of like, you know, release of pressure on the neck and so on. Um, kind of a better way to cut strings off. I don't really recommend that you cut strings off of a guitar while there's full tension on them. And so you can see me here just kind of walking through one by one. Next step was I removed the screws that were holding the original um, bridge in place. Um, I'm using a hand screwdriver. I see a lot of people that use powered screwdrivers. Um, I, I'm a firm believer that I think that it's cool to remove screws as long as you're not stripping them out with a powered uh, screwdriver. But I normally just by habit um, when I'm putting something back onto the body of the guitar. I use hand screwdrivers because I don't want to strip out the body of the guitar or the heads of the screws. To each his own though, you know, this is just how I do it. Next, I loosen the three screws that are um, holding the um, uh, bridge pickup in place. Um, so when I pulled the bridge off of the face of the guitar's body, um, the pickup would stay. So 
Something I didn't know is there was a sticker on the bottom of the bridge that was stuck to the body of the guitar. It was a little bit of unhappiness for me, um, but it's covered and, you know, with the new bridge uh, or the bridge in place, uh, you don't see it. So I removed the, um, the little rubber um, nibs that hold on the three screws. Next, I started to kind of prep the new bridge. Um, first thing I wanted to do is just kind of place it in place to make sure that all of the screws line, holes line up and that uh, there's no manufacturing defects. And um, once I got it in place and lined up, it was perfect and spot on and I knew that I was good to go. Um, so I went ahead and pulled it off of uh, the guitar and started to then set up my screws and everything. Um, one of the things I like to do when I'm putting screws in is I like to uh, put a little bit of beeswax, not a lot, just a tiny bit, and it kind of um, makes it easy and uh, much easier for you to um, uh, screw the uh, screws into the wood and seems to really hold well. So the next step was I put the bridge pickup screws back in, put the nibs on so they'd hold in place. And then I was going to go ahead and reassemble the guitar. So I went ahead and inserted the bridge pickup into the new bridge and then tightened each of the three screws so it was at least held in place. I wasn't concerned about pickup height at this point. Um, there'll be a video that follows this video where I do the full setup on this guitar uh, showing you how to adjust the pickup heights and the saddle intonations, everything. So I repositioned the new bridge um, with the pickup now kind of secured. And you can see the saddles, I've moved them so I have access to the screw holes and I don't have to remove the saddles. And I'm just starting each of the four screws and then I'll do the final tightening once I'm done um, putting each of the four screws in. Now that I've got the four screws started, I'm going to go back and actually tighten them down, hand tighten, not over torquing or anything like that. I do the two outer screws first, positioning the bridge properly. And then I tighten the two inner screws. You can see that um, all of the string slots are to the left. And so now I'm just going each saddle and positioning them properly and making sure that the string slots are to the left. I 
discovered I had missed the high E string and flipped it over. <laughs> 